Welcome to another Splatoon 2 video on the channel. So early on on the channel, I did post my review of the DLC where I talked about the gameplay aspects and yeah, I really did enjoy the DLC. I will leave a link to that video in the top right and in the description for you guys to check out. I really was impressed how they did incorporate the single player elements into new ways for us like to play i really did enjoy the aspect of the dlc but what i enjoyed the most was the lore and the story that we got in the octo expansion so what i will be doing in this video is discussing my thoughts on the story now if you haven't played or completed the dlc yet i would suggest for you to click away from this video just because i will be talking about spoilers in this video so I will give you a few seconds to click away from this video but let's start off with the start of the DLC where you meet Captain Cuttlefish for the first time in Splatoon 2 that meeting at the start of the DLC was really cool just because we got to learn about a battle between Agent A and Agent 3 I didn't really expect that to happen I didn't expect a battle between Agent A and Agent 3 to happen so I found that information really really cool and the fact that we got to play in that battle with the secret boss at the end again that is just so cool I'm really glad that Nintendo went that extra mile to build up the world build up the lore and yeah I really did enjoy that little detail we got at the start of the DLC it's just something that I didn't expect to happen it was something I didn't discuss or predict on the channel before so yeah I really was enjoying that little detail we got at the start of the DLC talking about interesting lore details we got a bucket load of interesting lore details in the chat room between Off The Hook and Captain Cuttlefish I really did enjoy reading all of those posts and of course unlocking the bonus chat when you do complete the final boss. It would have been nice to get those sort of details in cutscenes just because we had some epic, epic cutscenes at the end of the DLC. I really did enjoy those cutscenes so I would have loved it if they did do cutscenes for the chat room. It would have been nice if we had an option to have cutscenes or just to read the text in the chat room but I definitely did enjoy reading the chat room post nonetheless and yeah we got some really interesting lore details I found it really interesting how Mount Nantai played a huge role in the DLC I did predict that Mount Nantai would be in the DLC so yeah I really was pleased that Mount Nantai got mentioned in the chat room post that was where Pearl and Marina first met and it was cool to see what Pearl and Marina looked like when they first met each other that was really cool how they shared pictures of each other in the chat room it was cool to listen to early off the hook music I really did enjoy listening to both Pearl's demo of her first solo track and it was cool to hear Marina in her demo as well of Ebb and Flow. That was really, really cool. And I'm really glad that Nintendo went that extra mile with the chat room. And yeah, I did enjoy reading all of the chat room posts. It was just worth the DLC. Like, it was worth the price of the DLC alone. Just getting all of those lore details. So yeah, I really was pleased at how far Nintendo went with the lore details in the DLC. Now as I was playing the DLC I saw a couple of thumbnails that really did annoy me. I actually saw them on my own videos and I saw one of the final boss and it had Pearl on the thumbnail. And I saw another one of all of the bosses in Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion and right slap bang in the middle I saw Agent 3. So I sort of knew that Agent 3 we would meet Agent 3 again at some point and it would be like a boss sort of character. So that aspect really did annoy me. But I thought the final boss was actually Pearl. So I went through the whole DLC thinking how will Pearl and Marina turn evil and how will they sort of go against Agent A and how will we defeat Pearl and Marina. So I thought off the hook 
would be brainwashed and I thought they would be the final boss. So when I got to the final boss and learned that it was the telephone and it was Captain Tartar, I was really pleased about that twist just because I was pleased that I didn't get spoiled on who the final boss was. I found it really cool that it was somebody that I didn't expect it to be. Out of all of the videos that I did make, like making my Your Theories series and giving my predictions for the Octo expansion, I didn't expect it to be Captain Tartar. I didn't expect it to be the telephone. I didn't see it coming. So I found that extremely, uh, seriously, I found that really cool. I was so pleased that it didn't get spoiled for me. And yeah, I really did enjoy that story aspect. I really did enjoy going through all of the final boss phases. That was really cool, by the way. I only thought about this after I played the DLC, just because you will actually see me play through all of the phases. And unfortunately, I only worked out until after I watched back the footage of me playing through the DLC and playing through all of the phases. I only worked out when I was editing those videos that you are pretty much going through all of the body parts of the final boss where Captain Tartar is like in. Captain Tartar is in the head and pretty much you are going through all of the body of what Captain Tartar is in so that was really cool seriously I really did enjoy what they did with the final boss I'm really glad that they went with something epic something different as well to what we did see in the single players for both the first game and second game for me this is the coolest final boss we got not only with the final boss battle how you got to destroy all of the bombs and it works like like a turf war sort of battle but I really did enjoy you going through all of the body parts and pretty much you made your way back up to the surface pretty much Octo Expansion is set in the body of that sort of human character that Captain Tartar is in that was really cool I really did enjoy that aspect I thought it was so cool how we went through all of the body parts that was just so cool and for me this is the coolest final boss sort of phase that we have seen in Splatoon so far just because it was so epic it was really epic and yeah I just didn't see that coming and I was just pleasantly surprised and yeah I absolutely loved that aspect now one thing that I did predict like before the DLC, I did predict that maybe Agent 3 got brainwashed and that is what happened. Captain Tartar brainwashed Agent 3 and that was a really tough battle. Nothing close to what we saw with the secret boss but yeah that was still a tough boss battle nonetheless. So yeah I really did enjoy the aspect. I really did enjoy the fact that it wasn't DJ Octavio again. It was a brand new boss created by a professor 12,000 years ago and some people have noticed some links between a sunken scroll where it does mention a scientist putting in Judd into a capsule maybe that is the same scientist that did create Captain Tartar so yeah I really did enjoy everything about the story of the Octo expansion I'm really glad it was something that I wasn't expecting by the way I just got to mention the boss fight how Pearl destroys the boss by shouting down like the megaphone. That is a nice cool link to the sunken scroll we got where it shows Pearl singing and it mentions that Pearl's voice is enough to shatter objects around her. So that was a cool aspect how it did link that sort of boss battle how Pearl sings down the microphone and destroys the boss and that leads nicely to a sunken scroll we got about her voice being powerful enough to destroy objects around her so that was a cool link between that sunken scroll and the boss battle i really did enjoy that aspect and yeah i just enjoyed the story i just loved everything about that final boss i really did enjoy the ending it was really cool to see and yeah it just got me wanting more DLC I just want more story I really do I definitely want Nintendo to go down the route that they did go with 
in terms of the end and how we got like cutscenes. I definitely would love Nintendo to go with that route more in future stories that they do with Splatoon. I would definitely love to see more DLC for Splatoon 2, but if we have to wait for more story with Splatoon 3, I hope they go down the extra mile like what they did with the Octo Expansion. For me, the Octo Expansion feels like what the single player should have been in terms of the story. I really did enjoy the Octo Expansion, but I guess the story, it was cool to like set up like the Octo Expansion as well. It was cool to go through that single player as well, but the Octo Expansion, it was just a hell of a lot cooler than the single player. It was on a whole different scale compared to the single player, so I really did enjoy the lore, I really did enjoy the story. One thing I just want to quickly mention is the music. I really did enjoy the music in the DLC. I loved the Splat Attack Dead Fish remix. That was really cool in the Agent 3 boss battle at the end of the DLC. That was really flipping cool. I loved all of Off The Hook's new music. That was really cool to see. Hopefully, we will get to see more concerts and we will get to see Off The Hook perform those new songs soon. That will be really cool for that to happen. Hopefully that will happen really soon. I don't want to wait until next year to see Off The Hook perform their new songs live. I definitely want a new concert soon, but I loved all of Deadfish's music as well. It was cool to listen to all of Deadfish's music, like all of the full songs. That was really cool. So yeah, I really did enjoy all of the music in the Octo Expansion. It really did play a huge part in the DLC. It's something that quite a lot of people might overlook, but seriously, you can't overlook how important the music is. And I really did enjoy the music in the Octo Expansion DLC. It was really cool. And yeah, I can't wait to get that soundtrack and listen to all of the songs myself. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But that is it for this video. And I will see you next time.